Good morning. Thanks for joining me. I'm Aline. I'm a jewelry designer from Arizona. And today we're going to talk about Druzy Quartz gemstones. Um, first of all, I want to apologize for the uh, studio. We're in the process of renovation, so you're going to see stuff everywhere behind me. But just ignore that and listen to what I have to say. Okay, Druzy Quartz. Now, there are other types of Druzy, but we're going to talk specifically about quartz today because that's primarily what I use. Um, Druzy quartz is formed by little tiny, tiny crystals. Water gets in, This we're talking like eons ago, water gets into the stone and it just kind of breaks it up a little bit and forms these little tiny crystals. And I'll show you an example here so you can see what I'm talking about. See all the little tiny Almost they look like salt crystals in there, and that's the way they're formed. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Um, it got its name, um, actually it's a German, Druze, Druze, the word Druze is a German uh, name, and it means um, weathered stone, basically. So it just means that the stone has been, that's how they considered it was weathered. I, I would have called it crystalled stone or something like that, but hey, I didn't name it. Uh, it became really popular in the 90s. It was, of course, discovered many, many years ago. But in the 90s, it became very popular as a jewelry, I guess, design that people started using more and more. I've used several pieces and I really do love it. I'm wearing one right here. And if you can see this very well, it's this one has been colored and we'll talk about that later as far as the different processes but this one's got a lot of blacks and browns in it and then i just did it in silver and you can kind of see all the metallic -y information on it too there so that's how they're formed now i'm going to show you a couple of samples of them so we can get a little better idea and then we'll talk a little more about where they're found all that kind of stuff i'm going to move this down so you can actually see the gems there we go yay okay first of all i want to show you a couple of rings um, this one again has the deeper colors in it and this is the more natural colors this is my go-to ring that i wear often and actually i'm going to put it on right now because i really want to wear it you can see all the little tiny crystals in there um, this other one is one that I just finished actually and that's going to be in my dare to dream collection as You can see and this is kind of a natural almost a caramely colored crystal um, I, I love this one actually. I do prefer the natural colors on these, but that's just me uh, now I want to show you a couple of other finished pieces first as we talk about them This is again another one that's done naturally you can kind of see, and I've added a gemstone to it and made it into a pendant. See how beautiful they are? They shine, they've got that metallic look to them. That's what I really like about them the most is the way they have that metallic look. And the way they get that is the colors primarily are going to be a variety of things, um, mostly lighter colors. But then they use a process called, first of all, there's one called electroforming, which basically takes the stone and coats it so that it's more durable. Here's one you can see here. And titanium is usually one of the uh, metals that they use to do the forming. So you can see how it gives it that metallic look to it. This is one I haven't done anything with yet, but I'm really excited to get going and make this and this will probably be a pendant i don't think it could be a cuff well maybe maybe it could be a cuff too we'll see uh, but that gives you an idea they are considered quartz. well they are quartz which means they have a hardness of seven and seven is is fairly hard however you have to consider that because you have all of these little tiny crystals in there each of those could break out pretty easily so you just have to be a little careful in how you care for them I wanted to show you a couple of more here that I've done. This is just a tiny pair I just finished. I'll take them off of here so you can see better. And they're amethyst. Now amethyst is a quartz. So um, I honestly don't know if this was amethyst that was formed this way or whether they colored it purple. It's very possible that this was colored purple 
to give it or dyed, I guess, before they did the electroforming. But what you will notice in all of the Druzies is that there are, they are going to have a metallic-y look to them, and that's because of the form that they use. Another more permanent way they do it is they call it me metallic vapor. And that's another way that they can form them. The only thing is it's a very expensive, expensive process. So you don't see that happening as often in some of them. I'm going to show you just a couple of more here. This is one I'm working on. I think we looked at this earlier, but I want you to see. And this, again, I, I'm partial to earth tones, so that's kind of one of my favorites. And this that I have around it here is what we call the bezel. I have to solder that together first and then put it onto a base. Here's another one that I've gotten the bezel soldered and the base done. And now this will be the stone and that will have to be a pendant because I don't think it could be a cuff. And the other thing is because it is more delicate, you don't really want to wear something this huge into a cuff with only this smaller, uh, I guess, protection around it. If it had a bigger protection, like you can see this one right here that I've finished. Now this is just dental floss I put in there to keep it because it's not ready to be set yet. And I put that in there so I can pop the stone out very easily as you can see. But what I wanted to show you about this is this has a larger you can see around the edges, it has a much deeper protection. Now that one could definitely go on a cuff and be very protected. So the other thing you can do is they can be colored as you just saw with this one. This is another one that I just purchased that I'm really excited to make into something. The main thing is you just have to be a little careful in how you take care of them. Let me move back up so I can actually talk to you in person now. Yay! Okay, <laughs> so you saw some of the beautiful gems. Um, metaphysically, Druzy Quartz is said to energize us, energize our spirit. So, hey, I love that. I think it's because it's got that, it, it, it's so joyful, it's so beautiful, it's so, um, the metallic look to it gives it such, such beauty and it just makes us happy to look at it. So that's just my thing. Now, as far as caring for it, again, I mentioned a few things, like some will work in cuffs, some won't. It depends on how they're protected, so you do have to watch for that. This one, for example, as a ring is fine. However, you don't wanna do dishes while you're doing this. Obviously, you do not wanna put any of these in any kind of a um, silver cleaning type thing. And I will tell you a story that I actually did that early on with one of the stones, and I believe it was one that was this deeper color like that. And even though it's been protected and electroformed, what happened was I, I didn't put it in the machine. I actually was using another polisher and it polished alongside of the gem along here and it basically wiped off all of that and it turned gray and it was pretty ugly. So I learned pretty early on that you just have to be careful how you take care of them. Make sure when you're cleaning them, for example, this one, you certainly could use a jewelry cloth to clean around the silver easily. And then you could just use warm water and wipe that to clean around the rest of it and that will take care of it. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more on different gems and I hope you will join me. You can subscribe up here and also some of the next ones coming up uh, you'll see down here. And also I'd love it if you would like me uh, because or like this, <laughs> you can like me, but I mean like this particular video because it does make a difference. I really appreciate that and then I know if it's worth something I want to keep doing and showing you new and new things. Thank you for joining me. Bye.